All right, you guys, this uh, lesson is um, module 6.3 in our integrated math class. It's titled the binomial theorem. I'm going to just show the Pascal's triangle portion of that. And uh, today is Friday, so at least uh, in my class, um, so um, you have a quiz. So we're at the end of this module, and you so I'll review um, the next day, which is Monday for us. So anyways, and we'll have a quiz on Tuesday, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. And so our question here is, uh, how can we use Pascal's triangle when expanding binomials? Okay, there's a formula that's called the binomial theorem. Uh, I just think it's easier just to, um, at least in this class, uh, just to show Pascal's triangle and show you how it's going. So, so expand, you guys. So when it says expand, it means multiply. So x plus y squared is the same as x plus y times x plus y. And if we FOIL it out, we'll get x squared. And then outer times outer is xy. Inner times inner is yx, which is the same as xy. So we're adding them. So we have two xy's. And then last times last is y squared, okay? So x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, okay? So let's expand x plus y cubed, okay? So well, that's just x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. And then we already know what the x plus y times x plus y is, so I'm going to replace this with this right here, okay? And then I'm going to distribute the x through and then distribute the y through. So I'll do the x in blue, so, and then we'll do the, the y in, in red, okay? So x times x squared is x cubed, and then just add an x to everything. So this would be plus 2x uh, x squared y, and then plus xy squared, okay? So that's what that is. All right, and then we'll put the y through. So we're just adding a y with everything. So this is x squared y, and then this will be um, uh, 2xy squared, and then y cubed, okay? So then when we do that, and then we combine like terms, you guys. Uh, I have a x, uh, 2x squared y here. I have another 1x squared y here. So we have 3x squared y's. And, and similarly, we have these like terms, xy squared, and then 2xy squared is 3xy squared. So there's the final answer right there. Okay, now if that wasn't fun, here's x plus y to the fourth. Okay, well, that's just x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. And we already know what three of them are. It's this answer right here. So we'll do it. So all we got to do is distribute x through again. So x to the fourth, 3x cubed y, 3x squared y squared, xy cubed, and then put the y through. So x cubed y, 3x squared y squared, 3xy cubed, and then y to the fourth. Okay, so uh, there that is right there. And then combining the like terms, okay, so we have uh, an x cubed y. I got another one somewhere here, right here, an x cubed y. So there's four of them because there's three over here and, and uh, one right here. We have an xy squared. We have another three of them right here. So there's four of those. Okay, there's no x squared y squared. So I'm sorry, there is two. 3x squared y squared, 3x squared y squared is six of those right there. So there's the answer right there. Okay, and now there is a reason why I'm doing this, you guys. So if I asked you to do that, I'm not going to, you know, force you guys to go through that. I'm just going to show you the answer. Here's the answer right there. So, so notice how how um, uh, whatever power that is, it starts with that power and it ends with that power. Okay, and then notice also the exponents. They always add to this. This is 5, and this is 4. This is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 1 plus 4 is 5. And, and so they're always adding. Let's go to the fourth one right here. These always add to 4. So here's a 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. They always add to 4. This one, they always add to 3 right there. And then what I want you to see is, um, now let's go back to this one. This one's they're all the same, you guys. So they go in D as one descends in exponents. See, we have x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x. As, as x is descending, y is, they call it ascending. It's going up. So there's no y's here. We have 1y, 2y, 3y, 4y, and then all 5y's right there. Okay, so um, the exponents add to that, and they descend with the first um, uh, guy in there, and they ascend, which means they go up with the second guy, and they always add to that right there, the exponents, okay? And I'll explain these numbers in front in just a second. That's what Pascal's triangle is all about right here. So, so Pascal's triangle, now I'm going to do, make sure you put this one right here, because we're going to make a big triangle going down like this. So it's make sure it's in the middle of the paper, and this is row 
row zero, okay? Row one would give us this, okay? And I know you don't see a pattern yet. Here's row two, okay? Do you see a pattern yet? Probably not. Here's row three, okay? Do you see a pattern yet? That one you might be able to see a pattern. How about this one right here? Do you, do you see a pattern right there? But the number here is the sum of the numbers on top. So one plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four. Okay, and then these are always going by ones down here. Okay, this three came from one plus two. This three came from two plus one. Okay, this two came from one plus one. Do you see that? So here we're going to start. It's going to be one, and then this number is going to be the sum of these guys. So five. Some of these guys, 10, and then 10 again, and then 5, and then 1. Can you see? They're just the sum of the two numbers. So that's row 5. Row 6, we just keep adding the numbers on top. Row 7, this can go on forever and ever and ever. But what's cool about Pascal's triangle is, let's go back and look at uh, the first one that we did. When it was squared, when it was squared, these numbers here are the coefficients in Pascal's triangle for row 2, row 2 right there. Okay, and then remember, um, uh, the first one, uh, it, it starts with all of the first one, so x to that power right there, and then it goes down, and the other one starts going up, okay? And then these numbers are these numbers right here, okay? So look at this one. Here's uh, x plus y to the, to the third power. If we go to row 3, 1, 3, 3, 1, here they are, 1, 3, 3, 1, okay? X to the third, and then it goes down, and Y comes into the picture, Y squared, or X squared Y. And remember, these exponents add to this guy right there, X, Y squared. So we put those coefficients in there. Whoops, I moved that, didn't mean to. Um, and uh, so here's here's the one to the fourth, row four, 14641, 14641. And it's, it's, uh, the first one is x to the fourth right there, and then we descend. So it's x to the third, and then y starts ascending, growing up. So y to the first, x squared, so x goes down, y goes up. x goes down, y goes up. And the red numbers are from row four, and row four is from this guy, row five would be this. Okay, row 5 is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay, x to the fifth, okay, and then descend, ascend. So as x goes down, y goes up. x goes down, y goes up. x goes down, y goes up. These powers add to this guy right there. Okay, and so on. If we did row 6, it would look like this. Okay, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. There they are. X to the 6, X to the 5th, Y. Remember, these exponents always add to this guy right here. Okay, X cubed, Y cubed, and so on. Okay, so as X descends, Y ascends right there. Okay, so let's use Pascal's triangle to expand this guy, X plus 3 to the 5th. Okay, so we're going to go into row 5 right here. Now, this is our Y right here. Okay, so row 5 gives these numbers, so it's going to be 1, this guy to the 5th, plus 5, this guy to the 4th, and then 3 to the 1st, plus 10, this guy goes down, this one goes up, and so on. So here we go. Let's go ahead and put that in there right there, okay? Notice how x goes down um, from 5 to 4, and then 3 comes into the picture. And notice how these exponents always add to that, 5 right there, okay? And we get these red numbers from Pascal's triangle in row 5. Remember, it starts with row 0, okay? Row 0 is 1, and row 1 is 1 and 1, okay? And then you can start your patterns uh, for Pascal's triangle, okay? So here we are, and then we got to go ahead and, and multiply here. So we got to do the exponents first, okay? 3 to the first is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 10 is 90. Okay? Uh, 3 to the 3rd is 27. 27 times 10 is 270. 3 to the 4th is 81. 81 times um, 5 is 405. Okay, 405. Sorry, I have a little fetish on don't say an O for the, let the number zero. Anyways, uh, so we got to do those exponents first, and then we multiply the coefficients together, okay? So we get that right there, okay? All right, so let's try another one here, you guys. I got a handful of them. So here's A plus 2B to the fourth, okay? So let's go to row 4, 14641, okay? And then we put those in the spots right there. So 1, this guy to this power, 
Okay, and then plus the next number is this guy, and then decrease A, and then this guy increases, okay? Decrease A, and, this, and the 2B increases. Decrease A, and 2B increases, okay? All right, so now we got to do 2 to the first, B to the first. Here we got to do 2 to the second, B to the second, okay, to that power. Here's 2 to the third, B to the third, okay? So that's going to get us that right there, okay? Here's 2B to the first. Here's 2B squared, so 2 squared is 4, B squared. 2 cubed is 8, and then B cubed, okay? All right, now we got to multiply the numbers here. So 4 times 2 is 8. 6 times 4 is 24. This is going to get us 32. And then uh, we have A to the fourth. This guy's going to be A cubed B. This will be A squared B squared, A B cubed, and, and so on. So there's our answer right there. All right. Let's try one with the minus sign here, okay? All right, so um, uh, so row three gives us those numbers right there. So let's go ahead and one, three, three, one. So it's going to be one times five to the third plus three, and then five decreases, and it's negative two y. So be careful, negative two y increases plus three. 5 decreases, 1 exponent, and then negative 2y increases. Okay, now the other thing we've got to remember is a negative to an odd power is negative. Okay, so this is going to be a negative to an even power. So this is going to be negative 2y. This is going to be a positive 4y. This is going to be a negative 8y cubed. Okay, 4y squared. Did I say 4y? Anyway, so there's that right there. Okay, so it's alternating signs when you have a minus sign right here. It always alternates signs. So... 5 to the third is 125, and then and then uh, 5 squared is 25. Okay, I'm just doing the exponents here. Okay, so 5 to the first, and then negative 2y squared is positive 4y squared. And then negative 2 cubed is negative 8, and y cubed is y cubed. All right, and then now we multiply. So this is going to be 3 times 25 times negative 2. So what's that? Negative 150, I think. This is going to be 3 times 15 times 4. So that's going to be a plus 60. And this is going to be a minus 8. And then and then don't forget about your y's on that. Okay? All right. So um, uh, now your book is going to say use the binomial theorem to, to expand, you guys. Just use Pascal's triangle for now. We'll do binomial theorem stuff more second semester. Okay? All right. So find the coefficient of x to the fourth in the expansion of 2x plus 5 to the eighth. Okay. So we've got to go. Here's um, uh, the Pascal's triangle. We went down to row seven. So row eight is going to be 1, 8, 28. What's that? 56, 70, 56, 28. I'm just adding these numbers, uh, 8 and 1. So, so there's uh, row eight right there. Okay. And then those are the, the numbers. So it's going to be 1 with 2x to the 8th. Okay, so this is asking the coefficient of x to the 4th. So this is going to be x to the 8th. This is going to be x to the 7th. This is going to be x to the 6th. This is going to be x to the 5th. This will be x to the 4th. I need that number right there. Okay, so it's going to be 70, and it's going to be this to the 4th times this to the 4th right there. Okay, so... So there it is right there, okay? So there's going to get me my x to the fourth. Remember, this is this this guy goes here, x to the eighth, and then this is going to be to the seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, and it says find the coefficient of x to the fourth. Okay, 2 to the fourth is 16, 5 to the fourth is 625, and then we multiply 70 times 16 times 625, and that's going to get us that right there. Okay, so what is the coefficient? The coefficient is the number in the front right there. Okay, so the coefficient is 700,000. All right, I noticed your textbook says uh, instead find the fifth term of the expansion. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's our fifth term. Okay, so uh, anyway, so, uh, uh, so the fifth term would be the whole term, 700 thousand x to the fourth if they ask you that all right you guys if you are in my class i'm going to give you that take care